The anti-Christian chair of an Alberta school board actually called the cops on us for holding her to account. And I have the email to prove that and so much more. Remember when Cornerstone Christian Academy in central Alberta was asked to stop teaching passages of the Bible by the head of their very own school board? A woman named Lori Scorey. Well, Scorey tried to use her position as the head of the Battle River School Division to make Cornerstone Christian Academy censor parts of the Bible that she personally didn't like. She took particular disagreement with 1 Corinthians, which reads, Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Lori Scorey, she's not a theologian, she's a politician, and politicians don't get to tell you what form of Christianity you teach your children. That's the deal here in Alberta. It's hardwired into our laws. Religious schools are funded by the government because religious freedom is a protected right, and religious parents pay school taxes too. And when the news broke about what Scorey was trying to do to Cornerstone Christian Academy, she tried to impose a gag order on the association that runs the school to get them to stop talking to the media. Scorey even went to the home of the head of the society that runs Cornerstone Christian Academy and tried to get her to sign that gag order. Pretty creepy, right? Then Scorey tried to claim that she was the real victim here, not the parents whose charter rights were being violated when the school board tried to play Christian theologian. No, it was Scorey because she said she received what she called accusatory messages. So of course we started a petition asking the school board to reverse their bigoted decision at therealbigots.ca. And then we hired a lawyer to help the small school fight back against these government censors. But we knew there was just so much more to the story. So we filed our customary freedom of information request to the school board. I find out some pretty kooky things in general in these email exchanges that I get through freedom of information requests. Usually it's just governments finding new and unique ways to waste taxpayer money or screw something up that the private sector would have handled perfectly fine. But not this time. In this document dump, I found out how the Battle River School Division wanted the National Police Force to come and shut us up. I know, it's so crazy, it's hard to believe. Just look at this email. It's from the Superintendent of Schools at the Battle River School Division to a bureaucrat named Maureen Melnick. She's an education manager with Alberta Education. The email reads, Hi Maureen, apparently the society has some revisions that they want to add to the joint message, although we still haven't seen what they are. In the meantime, our board chair is being personally attacked by individuals and organizations such as Rebel Media. The board chair she's talking about is, of course, Lori Scorey, the Bible censor. But here's where this email takes the turn into crazy town. It also says, she has contacted the RCMP and so I'm not sure what will come of that. The board subcommittee is planning to meet and speak with our legal representation on how to proceed. You guys, this is crazy. Lori Scorey called the cops because we were critical of her. She called the RCMP when we raised a little hell because she wanted to censor the Bible. Now she wants to shut us up. I can't even get my head around this. She called the cops because she, we hurt her feelings. And we told the world what she was up to. And how do I know it was simply because of hurt feelings? Well, I have copies of every single email that people sent her in response to our story. Some people use some rough language, fine, don't do that, but whatever. But there are no real threats. And by and large, these are the most polite, well thought out, well researched, alleged hate mails that I've ever seen in my life. And I actually received my fair share. Remember when the left lost its collective mind because 3,000 unemployed oilmen, farmers, and their friends jokingly chanted lock her up on the steps of the legislature about Rachel Notley? Here. Or we can do the opposite. We can do what Rachel Notley is doing. 
now and send jobs away. Which one's it gonna be? We're not gonna stand for that. Now we were only joking back then, but as it turns out, it was actually me and the rest of my rebel team who have an enemy on the political left who actually wants to lock us up. Remember when Rachel Notley used an armed sheriff to stop me from covering a press conference at the legislature? Here. For today's event. I have my, we already spoke to Darcy Henton. He said yeah. there should be no problem what to come in. What? Sorry, why is that? Sorry, wh why? At first, I thought this was all just a quirk, but this left-wing inclination to use an armed branch of the state to silence their political critics and stifle effective journalism, it's a feature of the left and not a bug. It's becoming a formula for how left-wing politicians handle uncomfortable scrutiny. You just call the cops. Well, I've got some news for Lori Scorey. I'm not done reporting on this story and exposing the truth yet. Not even close, because I have a whole stack of documents now, not just this one crazy email. Next week in a series of videos, I'll show you what the real bigots at the Battle River School Division were up to when they thought nobody was watching them. I'll show you where Alberta education was meddling in all of this and picking sides in the dispute between the school and the school division. I can show you where the mainstream media was mocking these parents. I can even show you an author authoritarian attempted crackdown on a Christian pastor simply for being Christian and disagreeing with Lori Scorey. I'll even show you some of the emails Lori Scorey received from concerned Albertans all across the province that prompted her to call the police. They certainly aren't what she claims they are. If Lori Scorey calls the police every time someone sheds light on her political bad behavior, I think the RCMP are going to get real sick of her real fast. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Next week, I'm bringing you all the important details from these Freedom of Information documents from the Battle River School Division. And I'll have more exclusive reporting on my weekly show, The Gun Show. For full access to my show and all of our other premium content, click the link below to subscribe today.